Janine, and we are newborn photographers, as well as we have an Etsy store called Props by Posies, where we sell newborn clothes and props for newborn photographers and vendors. <laughs> uh, we sell patterns that make um, these these clothes. Um, we have several patterns on our Etsy shop, um, but we're going to start sharing a few um, free downloads um, for the some more simple patterns. And um, these are really patterns that are for beginners. So if you're a beginner and you haven't sewn, but you have a sewing machine, it's for you. So there, it's very simple. Um, we're not professional seamstresses, but it's just what works for us. And you get very detailed instructions. You'll love it. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, there will be a link down below where you can link right to our Etsy shop and also where you can download um, some free uh, tutorials, patterns and tutorials. So be sure to check back frequently and see what we've got going on. Hi, I'm Janine from Props by Posies and um, we did a video about thrift store finds and this is our part two. So we chose um, three outfits that we're going to go ahead and make and I want to show you what they look like before um, and then what they're going to look like when they're done. So I just want to explain what I'm going to do. This one we've chosen to do our um, June romper. Um, this is a skirt romper and the back is open so it just has the skirt. So when you do the pictures of the newborns it just looks like it's a skirt. It's super cute. And because this has such a fabulous bottom to it we're going to use this and it has a great texture. So we're going to use this to make this pattern. And then this one we chose, we're going to do the Adeline, which is our, it's a, a drop back here. And then it has the long sleeves. Um, so I just show, I'm just showing you this as a, this is what the pattern is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in this fabric. And then this one is, um, uh, it's our Zoe pattern, which is actually a girl pattern but we um, used the boy fabric and turned it into a boy uh, Zoe romper. And it also has the back that's open, so it's just a, a bib on the front, but it's all one piece. So we're gonna use this fabric for that. I think I'm gonna add a little red to the pocket so it can be kind of Christmassy, because that's what we're looking to make right now is a little few Christmas things. So um, a boy um, Zoe romper. This will be an Adeline, long sleeve Adeline romper. And this will be our June skirt romper. So now I will go ahead and make those and then I will come back and show you how they turned out and show you how cute they are. Thanks for watching. Hi, we're back and we finished sewing our outfits and this is what we've come up with. So this is our Zoe romper um, pattern that we did on the shirt. We got three of these out of this out of the shirt and we just backed it with a little bit of uh, a backing from another shirt. It's a little waffle um, fabric that we just backed it on and then we X'd it and put a button on it. This is yarn and the back this is our Zoe romper so the back is just the pants so you can still see the back of the baby. So we got three out of that one shirt on this one and this one we got four if you remember this was the one that had the gray underneath it so it was lace on top gray underneath we cut the the lace off of the gray and then we had a material from um, another find that was just this um, burgundy fabric this is our adeline pattern that we have in our shop and this is the back it has the drop back here um, so I thought that turned out really pretty. We, we went ahead and backed this with the, with the dark color just so that we could give it a little bit more of a pop on, there, on that color for the holidays. We got four out of this, four outfits. We, got, we did one here, this is just like it, except we did the little cap sleeve with the lace. So instead of long sleeves, we just did a cap sleeve. So you can see the different. You can see what you can do. I mean, there's so many options. This is still the Adeline pattern. We just um, did a cap sleeve instead. The cap sleeve isn't part of the pattern, but all it is is just a piece of material that's sewn into that sleeve. Super easy. And then this is the um, skirt romper. This is the June skirt romper that we have in our in our shop. It's got the open back and a little bit of elastic for the waist and the back. So when you're taking pictures with bum up, it just looks like just the skirt. Super cute. Um, and this, all of this, if you remember, all of this was already on the little sweater. 
So I just used this as the bottom, didn't have to do anything to it. All I did was sew up right here and put the elastic in and put this ribbing in. Super easy, our June romper. Um, that's in the shop. So we got a lot more things done, so I thought I would share those with you as well. So those are the three that we did from the, the shirts that we said we would. And then wanted to show you some other things. This is um, also our Adeline. We do a lot of Adelines. We just um, change up the sleeves a little bit. So we did um, we did one of these also with long sleeves, but we did the, this is, has a plain back also, the burgundy back. We did one that had the burgundy front with this lace in the back. So. Um, this was the skirt that you saw and we got two outfits out of that so far okay this is the lydia pattern that we have in our shop this is just a little bolero that ties in the back so the back is open you can still see the the newborn's back super cute and the little um, pants that go along with it with just a drawstring um, again this was from a shirt that we had i think we showed it to you if not it was one that we already had but i can't remember what if it was in that video or not so Shirt and pants. This is both. This is one pattern, the Lydia pattern. I love that pattern. Um, this again is the Adeline. This is the, kind of the same idea. We just did kind of a, a shorter sleeve, short to um, to three quarters, and it has the backing. It's a lace, but then we backed it with the tan, so it's two separate pieces, and that's the back. And then we just added the trim around it. So again, that's the Avalon. Very versatile, you can do so many things with that one. This is our new pattern that's gonna be coming. Um, it's a footed romper, it's got the feet in it, and it's gonna be, it's Long John's. It's, um, we haven't named it quite yet. It's a boy and a girl. So this one, of course, because we use the floral material, um, we made it a girl one. And it has just a faux um, bum flap, is what we call it. <laughs> Trap door, some people call it. Added some lace. So that was out of a shirt um that we showed this one we got um this is the june romper again this was a shirt that we showed you and we got two or three out of this one i can't remember i think it was two we got out of this one um so cute so the back is open once again it's got the little elastic there super cute it's got the silk tie on the front and we added a little trim across the top and trim across the bottom okay this is also um this is our zoe romper also um, so as you can tell, this the romper that we did. This is the Zoe as well. So it's the same pattern. Or the same pattern. It's just this is a boy one and this is a girl one based on what you choose um, to embellish with and the fabric that you choose. So this is um, got some little vintage lace on it that we've and then we laced up the silk along the top. Put some silk straps in. Once again, it's the the back is the open. So this is the Zoe pattern that's in our that's in our shop. Okay, and then these are my one of my favorites. Loved this one. We showed you this one. This one had the lace down the middle. It was a shirt, had the lace down the middle, and then it had this fabric, this cotton stretch knit on the sides. And we came up with, this is the front, so you can see through it. It's like that. And then the back is the V with a little bit of trim on it. And then it had the open, the open V neck on the shirt, and we turned it into the V back. Of the romper so we have one that's the back so this is the back of the Adeline and then we took a little bit of that lace and put it on the front just to, to make it all cohesive long sleeves so this is one from the front Adeline pattern and then the back and I love both of these I think they're so cute it'd be so cute for twin girls right there and then another one of my favorites was this one. I love this. It's got, it's kind of a cream, but it's got a little bit of peachy in it. I love it. It's got little beads. This came from a sweater that we showed you. And, um, and I actually took the sleeves from the sleeves of the sweater so that I could use this cute little gather that they did. And I just did the top of the sleeve um, with a gather, just like I did. Um, just I, I do that all the time. I try to take the sleeves if I can and use the cute pucker. So... And there's the back. We added just a little bit of lace right there just to embellish. So there you go. We made so many things. It was so, so fun. So be sure to go check out our shop on Etsy. It's Props by Posies. And also we have a website, propsbyposies.com. And you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Props by Posies. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time.